What up guys? What's up? 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 All right, cool. So I'm going to do a really, 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 really quick mini vlog-ish. I'm literally about to do a little shoot for my friend's um, lip gloss line. So I'm going to show you guys how I set up, how I do it, and what I'm doing. This is for the photographers on the channel. I'm going to talk to you guys. Do what we do. Okay, let's go. go, go. <laughs> I'm gonna use a 70D today. Need some duct tape, duct tape, that's what's up. <clears throat> gonna need this beauty. And this is pretty much what we're gonna use to set up a shoot. You've got duct tape or gaffer tape, 70D, blah, blah, blah. Need a lens, I'm gonna use a, uh, a, what's this lens? Sigma 18 to 160, 18 to 200. Beautiful lens, let's go. Right. <laughs> Camera, lens, flash, tape. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. I've got this little nice little light. Yeah, you know, my future's bright. Let me look at that. Right, so this is literally a little, little hack. Um, this is like 15 pounds, the body, and inside is literally an umbrella light. Um, I use that to soften it up. But what I'm gonna do is something really ghetto. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put a trigger into it, and I'm gonna tape it to the body, and I'm gonna use this as a light, as well as a reflector and flash gun, basically, at the product. And this will soften the flash, but also have this nice little, it'll make sense when I do my live image control. Yeah, cool, sweet. Don't judge my stomach, I'm going gym. I, I just came on fasting, so I look a bit fat. I'm gonna text for you guys now. <laughs> right. I'm gonna use card to create the nice bold effect of um, what do you call it? A studio. Because the products are so small, I'm gonna show y'all product. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, we have a Leo Blanc. A Leo Blanc. Yeah? Um, so these are the products we're gonna be shooting. There's a, there's a load of them. We're gonna show you guys as we do them, of course. But yeah, since the products are so small, we're gonna create this nice little false studio. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to it. Right. Tape it like that. Maximizes tape. We try to save the environment. <laughs> tape that wrong. That was so bad. <laughs> that was so bad. Wow. Okay, that was not too bad. Right. We've got the first part of the bow. Right. right. Huh? I'm not gonna fix it. It's doing its job. Alright, so we've got the first part of the bow. Basically, y'all can see it. Great. Um, got the first part basically. Um, and then what I often do, just to give me more space to work with, is I will tape another white sheet just a little bit down so that I can have all this space to work with, right? All this, all the space to work with. But this is basically our false studio. So I'll show you like the product really quickly through your lens. I'm gonna put that there. Now imagine, right? So you're gonna imagine your product is here. Take a little cute picture. This is how it looks. Boom, you reflect the light on it, great. Come out, this is what it looks like. Great work. I think I can even just use one. I don't even need to use two. We're not gonna use two guys. We're gonna use one. Let's go. Right, next thing I need is laptop, cable, my hard drive. Laces are the best. If you want them, you need them. These are the best, most I would recommend. I have another one there. Absolute best, honestly. Um, gonna grab this, gonna cook this up together. It's gonna look really cool. Some software, we're gonna show you how it goes. I'm gonna be set up in three, two, one. Right. <laughs> I am shooting Tevin today, so um, if anybody's never shot Tevin, so any new photographers, it's probably the best way. To it. Right, I use this software called Capture One. It's basically this live interface. Um, basically, you use this to shoot live. I'm gonna show you in a second. Um, bear with me, it's inside the camera. But yeah, yeah, this one's about 50 pounds, I think, or less, potentially. But not that you can the 30. It's by Tether Pro. It's for shooting Tether, basically. You shoot straight, no memory cards, straight from the camera to your laptop, and the client will be able to see pretty much everything as you do it. So let's set that up. Um, all right. You know it's giving me anxiety how you hold this camera. It's, it's, like, it's, it's like you're so scared to get the wrong shot. I am. You, you are, yeah. Just follow, just follow me. <laughs> Nothing to be scared about. Right, obviously, follow me, <laughs> not my hand, me. Plug it into your, to where the port is, whatever, whichever camera you have. Obviously, 
you have a newer camera, yes, you'll have this, but if you potentially have the older cameras, you will, might not be able to shoot tethered. Um, I, like I said, I'm using the 70D today um, and the Sigma 18 to 200 because it gives me the nice wide as well as macro if I need it. I create a phone tool, go to camera and camera's connected. And if you want to use something called live view, you can see everything my camera is seeing right now. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna set this up on a tripod. I'm gonna set this up on a tripod. Ah, God. Um, and then we're pretty much set to go. So we're gonna get it. I think I've showed you the setup, it's long. You just wanna see me shoot, let's shoot, let's get it. Cool, bye, all right, cool. All right, guys, we are set. This is how we're looking. We've got the camera set up, we've got this, and we've got the live right here and you guys get to see the first test out. I don't even know if it's gonna go well but um, I'm gonna show you the, the, the flash inside but basically this is how it works for them. Boom. Uh, so this is capture one um, and you can see that everything looks a bit overshadowed and stuff so then here's obviously where I adjust all I need to do my ISO is controlling the camera. Like obviously, all this is controlling the camera, so I'm gonna take it up to 200. No, I'm gonna take it to 400. Quick maths. So for my photographers, basically, quick, 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 quick maths. So you have your shutter speed, your ISO, and your f-stop. Basic, basic tip. If you ever take one off here, let's say you wanna, not, not brighter, so you wanna keep everything the same. Let's say you get a perfect image and you wanna keep everything the same, but you wanna sharpen the image. Let's say that like someone's running and then you want them to be less blurry. So you have to speed up the shutter speed, but that makes it darker. So then that means you have to then open up by the same stop. So we went from 60, so you go 60, 80, 100. So one, two, then your f-stop, you gotta take minus two as well. Then that means that you can create the exact same image. And here I prove it to you. Roughly the same, it's just obviously the, the, the white balance is different, but you can you can, you can can create exact same image, same lighting sort of thing by doing that math multiplication, basically. Yeah. Let's shoot, get this into, I, I'm ready to do this properly. I'm, I'm ready, let's go. Let's go. Right, I got the client doing what she wants to do on camera. Normally it'd be me on set, but this is an impromptu shoot. That's why we're doing this. And she's just doing what she needs to do. That's it. Yeah. Just like that. Except it isn't straight. Hey, Joe. Mm -hmm. It's cool. It's cool. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, so this is. guys it's uh, done I finished the project that's basically it um, pictures are really pretty much edited benefits of the capture one is that the pictures are pretty much as edited as loud as possible as you can obviously because it's a product shoot it doesn't really need any retouching so it's pretty much good to go we finished I'm about to hop to the next product which is some perfumes by my brother handmade this is me you know how it is yep, yep, yep. say hello to Instagram live all right oh that's sick the reflection the reflection right <laughs> Crazy. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, I'm catch you guys later. Transition to something cool. Um, I don't really have one, so. Should I do What should I do? So, if it's on the live, you zoom back into the live because you saw the reflection.